Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is not quite where we left off. I decided to do some more building while I was um, off camera. I find it's easier to build when I can focus and not have to, you know, talk. So, but you you don't see what I've built because the only thing I really built was a house. This will eventually be my player home for this settlement. A little bit of decoration. TV, all that. Put up the Minuteman flag just because it's the only faction that I've encountered so far. So, And he thinks that the character would think that this is a good idea. You know, protecting people and whatnot. And of course the American flag, being a former veteran. Bobblehead stand, bed store a couple of uh, containers up here will be my crafting area eventually I haven't put a roof on it or moved any of the benches up here not exactly happy with the placement of this staircase but it's really the only place I could see it being you know I am going to have to uh, put the kitchen upstairs. I was hoping to put it down here, but there just wasn't really enough room because I wanted a big entryway. And of course the bedroom takes up the rest of them, so. A little balcony, or a little porch, not a balcony. And the door. However, all of that building, plus the building from last time, has given me a level up. So we will begin by deciding which perk to take. I should really plan these out so this does this part doesn't take so long, but I'm not usually that patient. Kind of thinking about um, science. I don't really need it right this second, but I will need it for things like generators and um, um, modifying laser weapons once I get access to them. Always take that. No, I'll go ahead and get science. Since it takes so long to level up, I uh, I think it's best to take the uh, the basics as early as possible. And what did I come in here for? Oh yeah, food. This food I need, right? Oh, food and water and sleep. It's amazing how much you neglect when you're uh, building. Oops, didn't mean to do that twice. And instead of drinking purified water, get straight from the source. Make use of my new bed. Of course, I'll just wake up hungry and thirsty again, but you know. Them's the breaks. Let's see, it's almost 4 p.m., so let's see, uh, 14 hours. That'll put it close to 6, I think. Yeah. Then we are heading back to Olivia to get the. Um, isn't that moving? Yeah, it froze. 
I've noticed that sometimes if I sleep for long periods, it does tend to slow down and sometimes freeze for a moment or two. But anyway, we are heading back to Olivia. Okay, dude, um, I hate to break it to you, but I don't swing that way. Really need to get a powered door for the, uh, front. But that will be after I get, um, power. is producing radstag meat because while I was um well actually it was in the episode I did record so yeah y'all saw me um make some of this radstag meat and it was like a hundred and something radstag meat. Taking advantage of somebody else's hunting. That's just weird, though. Nothing I built would have produced food other than, you know, that kind of food. Alright, properly fed. Let's grab dog meat. Kept getting in the way, hey. so I told him to stay. Come on. Roadside grave it is. Got a hard gunfire. Try these baseball grenades. Keep this weapon out just in case I run into any more surprises. 
Oh, by the way, I spent so much time building that apparently I failed the uh, rescuing the kidnapped brother. Oh well. It was going to fail anyway because it would have been forever before I got down to uh, Backstreet Apparel. I think the ambient music includes a small buzzing sound because I keep thinking I'm about to be attacked by bugs. Gee, are there more raiders over in this kind of camp? actually been long enough that um, the raiders are back at the quarry. And if that's the case, then I have a new mission next time for the next episode. I'm going to take them on tonight. Since the quest is sending me back here, it may have respawned the enemy, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Can't make shipments out of it, so it's pretty much useless to me right now. Let's see if there's any new raiders down here. It looks like it's clear. Bodies are all gone too. No, no. Don't need any bags of... Oh. 
That was a nice uh, chunk of aluminum, though. Warriors over here. Much. What was that? Yeah, that tells me that um, there are definitely raiders here. Nothing there now. Yep, nothing at all. Another um, reason I'm skipping the uh, why am I hitting the thing getting smaller and smaller? There are more mole rats. Doesn't this go over? There's something wrong with the um, the respawn rate. Unless that's intentional on in immersive gameplay, that things are respawning so fast.
Gotta say I do like the uh, the music pod. Forget what it was called, but it was the one that's uh, linked on Immersive Gameplay Overhaul's page. That's one of the recommended mods. Let's say digital something rather nightmare maybe digital nightmare. That sounds familiar. Hey, over here. Hey, move here. Heads up. Inventory weight's still a bit high, but can't really be helped. Let's go turn in this quest. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. Maybe I'll later. think about it. Let me know if you change your mind. Any luck finding that locket? I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing.
Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we got here. Nothing I really need except for the ammo. And... It's actually not a bad price. Wait, is that the right ammo? Because I remember there's two 7.62s. Yeah, that's the right ending. There we go. You can keep your hundred bucks. Well, actually, so these cigarettes. there. Nice dog. Oh, that's the dog guy. I was wondering who you were. I think he could use a playmate. Why are you selling her? Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. But then I get myself a new puppy and start all over again. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? Uh -huh. I just don't want to sell her to any. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is there any paperwork you need me to fill out first? Uh, a list of references? Uh, I'm not really sure what you're talking about, but I think you're making fun of me, which is fine. I get that all the time. I guess I'm not very good at selling dogs, but I just need a straight answer. Do you want to buy her or not? Yes, I really want to buy your dog. Okay, but you have some place for her to live, right? I guess yeah. it'll have to be okay. He can go okay, uh, uh, play with the cat. This is your uh, new owner. He's, he's going to give you new home. Go on now. You you be a good girl. Bye bye. I uh, I gotta go. You take care of her, all right? Okay, up. I think that's about all I'm going to be doing today. Not sure, this may end up being a short episode. Didn't really look at the time before I started recording. I haven't really done much.
Thanks, dog. You're the best. Don't really need sleep. Alright. Well, that will be the end for this episode. I do, I do realize it might be a little bit of a short episode, but I spent a long time building before starting the recording. Probably should have taken a break first, but it is what it is. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.